Hey everyone, so today with the new event out, I wanted to just go over what events are in this game. Well, this specific event type, and also just to show a way to make a more efficient way to do events from a free play perspective to a non free play perspective. And I'll, I'll divide up the video into like what to do in events, how to do things more efficiently, and the non free play parts that can make it easier for you to get the event card. So. With that, let's just go ahead and start. So for this particular event that just started, it is a events point event, where you play a bunch of lives, and you do work, and you get points from those things in order to get rewards. And there are three parts to this. There's the event points rewards, which you get for reaching certain milestones. There's the event point rank, where depending on how many points you have ahead of other people, that's your rank, you get rewards from that. And then there's the high score rank, which is based off your high score from the event song itself. So let's just go ahead and talk about the event points part. You get a bunch of like gems, you get experience tickets, you get characters at certain points, and other things that'll help you progress, like with your characters, or even help you progress with the songs itself, because you get megaphones and stuff as well. And in order to get the max, the best reward in the event, you need 3.5 million. If I can pull it up right here. This is going to be your first copy of the 5 star in the event, which is the main, I guess, goal for a lot of people of the event. And we'll talk about more about how to approach that as like a free play and non free play later. But this is just what the rewards look like. And it's a really good way to get a lot of materials to upgrade your units. And then for the point rankings and the high score rankings, they're pretty much not super needed. There are a lot of things you don't really need. And it's just more like an incentive for people that just want to be a bit competitive. And uh, like for example, if you get high in the point rankings, you get like crown badges, which is good for like ranking your idols up, and these posters you can put in your office. And then the same thing, honestly, with high score, you get some diamonds, but it's honestly not a lot because I meant like top 1,000, and I get 300 diamonds, which is not even a pool, so it's not really like. It's not super incentive, uh, but you get this t trophy to be like, oh look, I got, I got a high rank and like <laughs> high score for this event, event song. So okay, before we talk about the actual event song, let's talk about how to progress in the event itself. So basically, like I said before, you just need to play songs. Like you can do whatever song you want; doesn't matter. Uh, but the song you pick might make it more beneficial based on like how high you can score. For example, I usually do rainbow songs because my character I don't have a lot of mono teams. Like a lot of the teams I have aren't very cohesive together, and I have like a lot of my five stars are different colors. Like for example, my team is blue, blue, green, yellow, red. Like that's that's literally the best combination I have. And I tried other songs, and they don't really have a total as big as how much I have now. So I choose either brand new stars or ensemble stars. Like they both are rainbow and they both will give me honestly the same amount of score anyways and the higher your score is then the more event point bonus points you get which is it's not like super it's not like super big to be honest the like, difference between like let's say you get like a high s rank and, a, and an s plus rank uh score it's like maybe like 50 or like even 30 or 20 points difference it's just for me i'm pretty i want to be really efficient so that's why i like to use these songs and that's why I picked these songs. So I'll do the song real quick and I'll give you the end result which will be what you get from each song. Okay, and with that, I finished the song. And as you can see on the next part, oh, not this part. As you can see right here, this is where you see all the stuff you get. So you, each BP you use, you get 10 entry passes and you need 100 to do the song. You get 2000 base score for the song itself and then you get extra points based on what your score is for that song. And since I have uh, the event card from the gacha, I get extra points, we'll talk about that later. And then you see the total adds up and then, you need, and then you'll see what you're going to get next and that's basically what uh, the event points do and how you get them basically. So one thing I want to bring up is that there's a very efficient way to do this in my opinion and it's, basi it's basically based on the fact if you want to put time into the game or if you don't want to. It's just if you want to be efficient, you need to spend more time in the game. If you don't, you can just use more BP all at once and just finish it. And what I'm talking about is that, so using 1 BP versus like 2, 3, 5, 10, whatever it is, it's going to really make a difference as you keep doing the songs over and over. And 
I will give you an example as to why. I'll do 3VP as an example, so I'll be right back. Okay, and I finished, and the first thing that is different between using lower VP versus higher VP is the amount of experience you get for your rank. So if you see right here, you got 200, but if you saw earlier in the BP1, I got 100 for 1 BP versus 3 BP right here. So that's all. That's a big difference in itself because the faster rank you get, the, the more replenishes you get for an event. So that's one thing. And also if you want to focus on getting rewards as well, the drops are, for example, BP1 is going to be times five versus BP3, which is times 10, which is literally you're missing out on like, say like five extra sessions. But besides that, it's not that much of a difference because uh, for the event itself because everything for the event is going to be scaled based on how much BP. So that part isn't affected. So it's just more like you want to be more efficient with trying to get more refreshes from ranking up, or if you want to get more rewards and not miss out on some rewards that might not appear or whatever. It's just your decision. Okay, then, and then next is the event live. So the event live is basically just the event song itself. And you have all difficulties, and you can actually watch the MV after you clear it once. And it costs 100 to do one live of those passes you get. You get 10 passes per one. You get a lot of points from doing the event song. Every time you do the event song, you'll get 10,000 points, plus the extra score you get from how well you do in the, in the song itself. And for this part, I recommend you try to do all of the difficulties, because as you can see, you get these rewards, and they're pretty good. You get like some deep diamonds, you get like the gems for all of them, and you get a lot of stuff. And once the event ends, the event, the event song will be added to the regular lineup for the lives, but everything resets, so all of the diamonds you get, all of the rewards you got, they will reset so you can get them again. So I recommend you try to do all difficulties at once. I mean just do all difficulties. <laughs> and then for the event itself, it doesn't really matter how many tickets you use, you can do like one times, five times, and then eventually like ten times or twenty times. This one is just... It's just the event song. There's nothing super gimmicky about it compared to like the new pies. It's just use your tickets, get your points, and then that's it. So, And then lastly, you can also get stuff from work. So you can just get the work done. I, I don't really particularly use my BP for this because I don't think it's that efficient. So I just do zero BP, just do all the work, and then just get... You get 250 per uh, work you do. It's not like a lot, but I mean, you might as well get the extra points anyway. Okay, and then another thing I want to bring up is talents. First, if you don't know what talents are, it's basically increase your score, ways to like prevent, make your full combos easier by adding accuracy or doing event bonuses, which is like on the bottom right, right here. And personally, I recommend you focus mostly on basic and bonus. I've been trying to raise event bonus by like boost to see if it does more than one live event. And so far, I haven't seen that. I'm gonna try to get it to level 5, and if anything ever happens, I'll put it in the comments below. But I don't think it's going to ever change. But yeah, which is why I recommend you go for basic or bonus to make your score higher so you can get more points. I was gonna add this to the, uh, the non free play section, but Mazda was talking about it. So, with the event, the gacha, the, there's event cards, and the cards, if you get them, you can get extra points and make, which makes it easier to get the point event card. And based on how many characters you have or like how many limit breaks you have, you'll get more points. And here's the amount you can get for all of them. So if you get like the Chiaki card, you can get 20% uh, with just himself. If you get Meets to do, you can have multiple limit breaks of him. You just add on to that. So, but I will say you have to add them to your team. You can add them to your main team. Or your support team, like I'll show you for mine. I have Chiaki right here, and I have Mitsu in the back because he's not leveled up and I can't really use him. So he's still in the party, so I still get his bonus and I get Chiaki's bonus. Also, another thing is don't forget to read the story. You get 10 diamonds per story you read, which isn't a lot, but I mean, still diamonds. Diamonds are diamonds. Yeah, and for the non-free play people, I recommend you really buy these packs. Like they're the monthly packs. The $5 one increases your BP to 20. And for me personally, it's been really nice because I don't have to worry about like waking up or something. I don't know. Just like having to worry about my BP ever building up while I'm sleeping. 
And with this, I can literally just get all my PP out and then just uh, sleep and then not have to worry about it to overflow because I'm not going to sleep for 10 hours. And then for Bountiful Daily Supply, this is really good for having an extra 10 BP that basically gives you a whole event run, a whole event song run, because 10 BP is 100 tickets, which lets you run the event song. And it's just it just makes it easier for you to get the event card as well. And I think it makes it just cheaper in general. And for the event card itself, I don't really know if I recommend it because it is really expensive and it is basically 1% because Chiaki, or sorry, the event rate up is only 1% of the 3%. So it's up to you if you want to go for it. If you love the card, like for me, I went for Chiaki because I like Chiaki a lot. And that was the reasoning behind it. And that's why I got him. Thankfully, I got him. But uh, yeah, so it's up to you if you want to go for the card or not. Okay, and with that, that's about it, I think. And yeah, so I hope the video helped you understand how to be, I guess, more efficient with the event. Uh, there are other events, well, two other event types, I think. The other one of them is basically the same thing, and the last one is the tour event, which is our next event, which I honestly have no idea how it goes. So I'm gonna do some research and stuff, and actually just play it first, and then I'll make a video about that one. So. Again, thanks for uh, watching the video, and I hope this video helped you a lot, and I'll see you next time. Yes, peace!